Creative Studio. I'm Auntie today, and uh, we, we are going, going to do a oil painting. And I've got an eight by ten canvas, and that's right now is my preferred size. Um, anything things like um products and and I have done oil paintings in the past, and it's been a while. So y'all just bear with me. I will try to get this done as quick as possible. And uh, over on the side, y'all can't y'all can't see it. I guess I can. I've got this big old 18 by 16 palette, or maybe 18 by 20. I don't know. It's huge. I don't know what it is about oils, but I think I have to have it. I mean, they just take it a lot more room than what um watercolors on a palette because of all the mixing. And I am mixing. Let me see what this was. I think it is pressure blue and white. Ten uh, together. And I'm gonna it's gonna come out I want it more of a light than a I want a light blue. And I'm just using a mixing knife. Now I'm just cleaning it off on paper towels because I don't want it all over. I'm trying to not contaminate my white. Because in oils, you use a lot of the whites. I don't know what it seems like you do in mixing. And that just may be me. I don't know. To get the tones I want. Okay. Um put um I've got paint um uh, I got um uh, the uh cleaner over on the for my brushes, and I am just using number eight flat for this. And you can go up, I mean, if you got one big one that you like, I mean, use what you got. Um, one thing about walls, they Usually it takes a while for them to dry. I've got a fan on mine to try to um, speed up uh, drying times. Now it does it. I doubt it. But I'm painting the whole canvas. This one color of blue. And I am dipping my brush into the uh, pretty often. I don't know if it's just this canvas. I'm not, this is just the second one I've used. I have a whole pack of 34. That was reasonable. I will link them down below. But the top, the bottom layer, goes on 
I mean, it dries so fast. It's not, I mean, I've never seen oils dry so fast on something. So I'm not for sure what the deal is on that. I don't know if it's just, they say they all just go, just ready to paint on, but I don't know. So I'm just playing around with these. Before I make a review and recommend them, but I will still link them if anybody wants to try them. But once you get the second layer, I mean the first layer on, seems like they won't like they should. So I'm thinking they may not be as just so as I thought when I ordered them. I got them off Amazon, and I've never wanted the brand, but. Price is right for my budget today, this week, this month, and I need canvases. And I'm on, you can paint on anything. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, clean my brush and. I, in my brush, I have, or in my brush cleaner, and this was taught to me years ago, is put one of those plastic uh, dish deals in, and it will separate the um, grime, and it does work. It works wonders. I've used it for years, and I use it for my acrylics too sometimes. Okay, I am just going in with the Prussian blue, and I'm just, and I'm doing it very. I mean, I'm I'm wanting it really thin, and my phone is going crazy, guys. Sorry, it's no text or a phone call, so I'm not worried about it. It's probably Facebook, me we. Instagram, Pinterest, or YouTube. Oh, my husband is texting. Oh, my husband is texting. Food's in microwave. Well, I'm busy. Oh, my arm is killing me today. Now you can use liquid. I'm not because I don't want to extend my drying time because I'm on trying to do a video. Um, and to me, I mean, I've used liquid in the past and everything has turned yellow on it on my paint. If I use white, it's got a yellow tint to it. So I'm just not too keen on it. I mean, I know there's a lot of people uses a medium for oils. I just use the paint thinner or turpentine or whatever you want to call it. And I get the unscented because otherwise it kills you. I promise you. Okay, now I'm going in with, oh, 
Can y'all see me stretch? I slept wrong on my arm last night or this morning. I am um, going in with white and the blue together. I'm using about half and a half on my brush. And I'm going in with the white before I am the blue because I don't want to terminate my white because I use the white all the way through this painting. And yes, we are doing no landscape. Y'all ain't figured it out. I love my landscapes. But and they just... I don't know, I, I'm just ready to see different scenery than what I'm seeing. I think it's a lot of it. Okay, now I'm going to leave this dry for a little bit, and I'll come and I'll come back. This is probably going to take an all-day process to do this one video, and I'm not sure we'll get done with it today. If not, I'll just come back next week and finish it, like I've been doing on so many videos lately. Okay, I have read it set, and it's tacky. I am going in and I will draw a line. I'm just using a mechanical pencil. Well, won't be using that one. And I'm going to make a, a shoreline just like so. And I'm going in with a uh, yellow ochre and I'm going to kind of water it down to begin with. And yeah, the blue will seep through, but it will be fine because with oils you can, it's not like watercolor at all. It's kind of more like acrylics. You can cover it pretty easily. I'm just doing thin layers. There's just no way of speeding up oils, and that's that's the only thing I don't like about oils is the t uh, drying time. And uh, like I said, I've got a. It's cool in here. Well, it's like 60, 70 degrees in my room. In the studio. Um, so, and I know that plays a lot in it. But the humidity here is so horrible. And that has a lot to do with it too. And I know all that. I mean, I don't even varnish them until they a couple weeks when I get one done. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now I'm going to change to a favorite. And I don't even know. Guys, these brushes is so old. I have no clue. It's a four. And it's by Lane Nickel. But these brushes is probably 15, 16 years old. I like them. That's why I changed precious. I've used them. I know how they perform. You know, you, you get to know your product, what you have, and you don't want to change. Okay, I am going to put a piece of washi tape, and I am not for sure how well this is going to work, so this is a trial. And I'm just putting it right down. Now I'm going to mix some Zap Green and Cadmium Yellow together. Because I want it lighter than Zap. And the zap I'm using is, I'm not for sure, I don't even know, he's made it. So y'all don't even croak me on this. I don't want it that yellow. So we'll just add more yellow green to it, a biggie. That's the color of Zap and Watercolor that I'm going for. I mean, it's that greenish yellow, and I just made a mess. That is one thing about oils, they do stick to you. And I'm just going in, and I am just patting. For treat. I mean, I just want the, it's a, I don't really want, I'm not doing trees to be exact. I just want the texture of the trees. Yes, my phone's going crazy today. Now I'm going back over this with darker green so y'all don't panic yet. And if the dog starts making a racket, I'm going to apologize ahead of time because it's just the UPS dude or chick. I don't know which one it is today. They're usually here by now, but he's ran they're running late. I know they didn't have the same one the same one we normally have because he comes and puts the packages on the porch. Yesterday they left it on the back of my truck. I ain't figured that one out yet. And 
And this tape is not sticking, but it's just giving me the baseline of what I need. That makes sense. It's making, giving me the clear line that I'm wanting to hope. Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to stick that in that. Now I'm just going to go over here to my palette. Now. Okay, no I'm not. I did, but I'm changed my mind. Okay, I am going to end with the white. And I'm going to put white on this. Because of the fact that you don't want it. I mean, you've got to. Now white. Y'all know white don't just stay white. I'm just kind of taming down the brown. No, I'm using the wrong brush. This brush. I forget digs. Give me my big brush. It ain't a big brush, but it's bigger than that one. And I'm just going in. And now it's going to mix, mix the tan and or the yellow oak one and I'm fine with that because I want it to mix is the issue Now, I paint on canvas panels because of the room. I mean, it takes up a lot less room than the um, stretch canvas. And, I mean, I was taught to do it on stretch canvas. Just make sure you, if you do it oils on a canvas board, too, they do get air. Or otherwise, they will run because they do hold moisture and just don't put them in like a bathroom or that gets a lot of moisture. But I just don't have room to store a lot of cam uh, stretch canvases. <laughs> And I'm like, I want to do oils, I want to do acrylics, but I'm just like, I just get some panel. I mean, and I know people does panels all the time. And it's whatever you perform. I mean, if you want to do stretch, I mean, you can do stretch the same way. Um that I'm doing it just you know it's just what you perform to use like I said I use the boards because of space wise but you know everybody's different and everybody's gonna be different so <coughs> Okay, I'm taking the fair for it. And I am going back in with the zap green. And I'm going back in with my trees and just kind of...
Now these trees I will make make them look more like a tree than the background ones. Because you can see these is closest to you. Well, I've got to wait until that dries. Alright, I'll be back.